What's up guys, today is Monday, March 2nd at 8, 10 a.m. Gonna do a video watch list today. So for those of you that don't know, I do a free video watch list every single Monday, and usually every day or every other day, I do this for free for members. Uh, but a couple house cleaning things I wanna get started is today I'm gonna do a YouTube live recap talking about my $50,000 day on APT and Lake. So be sure to tune into that. Um, also, if you have any questions about trading or MIC, you could text Tosh, who is one of our mentors here. Uh, his phone number is, let me see if I still remember, 213-458-5997. I'll also put it in the description just in case my memory's not that good. But yeah, we have a lot of shit to talk about today. I mean, number one is these fucking coronavirus stocks, right? Like unbelievable, unbelievable opportunities, man. Like these things are the types of stocks that could make or break your trading career. Uh, I've been lucky enough to see at least five or six different types of sector plays. So I know exactly how to trade them. We had the shippers, dries, uh, DCIX. We had Ebola, Lake, APT, coincidentally the same stocks as these. We had the forklifts, which was plug and BLDP. We had Bitcoin, which was GBTC, MARA. Uh, we had body cameras, DGLY. So I've seen all these things happen, right? And they always do the same pattern. Right? It's always the same pattern. They parabolic up and then they come right back down. I mean, IGC is another great example. I'll show you guys. It is another stock that I made a shitload of money on. They go parabolic up and then they make all the way back down. The key is not to be early on these setups. So I'm gonna talk more about my APT trades uh, during my recap today. But I mean, shit, we were basically just saying that all we're doing is waiting for the first red day setup on this stock. And I think it was 20 bucks or 30 bucks somewhere somewhere around here is when it went red and then it tanked almost 10 points under so had you just waited for this first red day setup that's where you would make all your money i did a webinar on this i have so many things anyway so let's get let's get into the the trades right so tnxp was one of the weakest ones from friday so this is going to have a lot of my attention today ideally we got to push i mean now it's changing so let me kind of adjust my plan if i have to but ideally <coughs> We're gonna get a push towards 145, 155. And again, let me draw my line so you guys can see it. Looking for a push towards these levels to short in the morning. Again, this is a dead cat bounce, low hanging fruit. Next is APT. Again, notice how it rejected at uh, the resistance from Friday, right? Rejected perfectly and started coming back down. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see this red and go lower, but in a perfect world, we get a pop towards, you know, 24, 25, 26 to scale in. You know, I'll have more commentary on that in the morning because, you know, it's just kind of just really weak right now. IBIO, I don't think I'm too interested in this stock as it's above Friday's highs or was kind of trading above Friday's highs. Oops. So what I'm looking for on something like this is ideally it just goes red and we short it when it goes red. But until then, I'm not really that interested. Similar with ALT, it kind of pushed through yesterday's, well, tried to push through yesterday's high day and failed. Notice how the lines match up. I did this one, we wait for it to go red and we short it when it goes red. Codex, I really like this setup. This was one of the weaker stocks from Friday and I think they jumped up today on a PR. If you notice, it topped out exactly where it should have. Double top here. Um, in a perfect world, we get a push towards 1950, 20, and 21 to short in the morning. Again, draw out your lines. 1950s VWAP, so that's why I'm looking at there. But yeah, guys, today's the type of day where we have a lot of low hanging fruit setups like APT, man, 26 to 21. This just has nowhere. So this is gonna be a top watch. TNXP is gonna be a top watch. I'm basically looking for the stocks that were the weakest on Friday and looking to short those. NVAX have an offering today, so not really that interested. But yeah, APT, TNXP, and Codex is going to be uh, top watches. Again, I'm going to do a YouTube live recap at 11 o'clock today. Um, I have my espresso in hand. So uh, I do a secret word at the end of these videos to make sure that everyone's watching. So today's secret word is going to be espresso. So thanks, guys, and let's kick some ass today.